Hello and welcome back to Iron Brigade. Salute or switch or thumbs up. Alright. So we're going to go to mission four, I believe, which is that one. Refinery. The tubes are trying to cut off our fuel supply, which would effectively render your trench useless. Oh no. There are multiple targets they could try to destroy, so make sure to stay aware of your surroundings. Grenadiers have been spotted in the area, so be sure to protect your emplacements. Keep your eyes peeled. There have been reports of a gas leak in the area. The origin of the gas is currently unknown, but I'll tell you now, it wasn't me. I would have said something if it was. Good to know, General. So, this is the first mission in the game where we have multiple objectives to defend. This is also the first mission where gas plays a part. Not, not many missions have the gas effect, really. Uh, and I really need to sneeze again, suddenly. Maybe I'll have to do some editing for that. Maybe not. No, I don't know. But, for this mission, we yeah, are going to use... Legs. Each leg type has yeah. a different ability that you can activate on the battlefield. Experiment with different legs to find out what works for you. So we are going to use an engineering chassis and a uh, sprinting legs. We can also change the paint job now if we wanted to, but I don't want to. Uh, this allows us to run. This is going to be useful in this mission. I do want... Uh... Know what I want in the guns. I guess we can keep the guns we have on it for now. We also want a mine layer, which I don't... Oh, we did unlock. That's right. So we want a mine layer, and we want a shotgun turret. Other than that, it's, you know, whatever. Uh, I am going to grab the ionized collection prong, just to make this mission a little bit easier on me, so I don't have to run quite as much. Um, but other than that, you know, you can put... Excuse me, I guess you could put a machine gun turret in that slot if you have one. I don't. We can check the shop, actually. Let's check weapons real quick. Ooh, 500 for that. Let's get... This this shred machine gun, I think. On that. This will give us a machine gun with the shred ability, so we have a flak and a shred, which, you know, weird. It's a cool looking machine gun, nonetheless. Uh, which will give us a little bit, just a little bit more scrap every time we shoot something, so that's always good. Uh, but I believe this we're good with this uh, setup for this. This is a fair. I know I'm not connected. This is a fairly difficult mission uh, early on in the game because the two objectives uh, it gets a bit tricky trying to handle both of them. Capacity, this refinery makes 5,000 gallons of fuel a day. Yay! It's enough to last one trench an entire week. Yay. We must not lose this supply. Trenches use a lot of fuel. Uh, you'll want to have mine layers in the center here. You'll notice there's actually two dedicated spots already marked out. That's where you're going to want to put the mine layers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a collection prong right there. And I'll show you, once we have some free time, I'll show you what the, uh, the mine layer looks like. The collection prong will pick up that scrap for me over there. Nice work, Marine. This will save me a bit of hassle. Uh, every time you upgrade the mine layer, or sorry, the collection prong, it will have a wider area of effect. Uh, that's really the only upgrade. There's the mine layer. It'll spin around and s spit out mines. That's basically what it does. It's a mine layer. What'd you expect it to do? Either way, tubes! Murder them all. With machine guns. I'm gonna have to collect that scrap on my own, sadly. Hey, we got a crate. It's always good. You're probably bound to get several crates on this mission, due to the amount of enemies that tend to come in this. I want to get another mine layer. Which apparently I'm not going to get, sadly. The one mine layer, one non-upgraded mine layer, is not going to be able to handle that central area, but it will thin them out. Since when is it level? I mean free of all these tiresome turrets of you. No. I'm sending down a powerful burst transmitter to destroy them all. You. Let nothing stand between us, old friend. Anything not camoed. See your camouflaged emplacements. Yes. Use mine generators to shut them down. However, mine generators and uh, collection prongs are camoed. So we don't have to worry about them shooting any of my current turrets at the moment. I would like for you to die. There we go. Other side got killed by the mine layers. 
So this side is going to get a mine layer. We're going to have to put stuff up on the sides as well here shortly. This is not the only... Thank you. This is not the only direction they come from. So just wait here. That up. Thank you. Put another ionized collection prong over here in the center. And then we'll begin our work on the sides. Right there. With shotgun turrets. Probably... Now nah, we'll get... We'll put the mines out for now. Copy that. Because gr grenadiers or burst transmitters will come from there as well, so you do have to keep that in mind. They will try to kill you. I wonder if these things feel pain. They probably do. So there goes the ionized collection prong, picking my stuff up for me. There is no downside to those prongs. You don't lose any of the scrap that it picks up. So none of that crap. It picks up, picks up 100% of whatever is killed there. We're going to put another ionized collection prong right here. Let me know if it doesn't get there. Will do, sir. And I put that one behind that for a reason, because... Good to know. May as well shoot those. Luckily, you can see these from a distance. So, they go away when the wave is complete. But they do give you a little scrap, so... It doesn't hurt to shoot them. So I think the collection of prongs is doing alright? Yeah. I would like to upgrade these in the center and these collection of prongs. But I do want to get the sides at least slightly defended before anything starts coming up. I'm just going to wait because these guys are likely to get killed by the stuff. How much is a collection prong upgrade? 20. I may very well just upgrade the collection prongs now, just because I can, really. So that they pick up the scrap at the very back of that mine layer. Save me that little bit of hassle. What can I get you? Of course, I could always put another uh, collection prong, considering there are 20 to upgrade and 20 to buy, but mm, whatever. Put it down another mine layer beyond her. There. And a collection prong right Here there. Comes Big These guys are tough. I know. This shredder gun should help peel off some extra scrap from those tubes. It should indeed. Regular uh, Shredder Gun's not going to peel a lot off, though. A second Big Willy has spawned behind me. This is going to do some damage, probably. So I'm not properly set up for Big Willies, because I forgot they spawned. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem. Just a bit of a problem, though. When I say just a bit of a problem, I mean I might lose the gold. I really would like my controller to stop breaking so I could run better, but you know, whatever. We could, indeed, because I'm losing this mission. Stop that, Big Willy. Cease. Cease. We may very well lose the gold because I'm an idiot and forgot the Big Willie spawn. They're at our base. That they are. There we go. More tubes, just what I wanted. So I guess instead of setting up these sides, you could probably focus the center a little bit more than I did. I'm gonna upgrade that. That's gonna cause me to lose the defense over here for a little bit, but Die. it's always good. It's all good. So now that thing will spit out five mines instead of three for a little bit extra damage per mine as well. Is the other side spawning yet? Nope. Alright. They're gone now. Gonna drop another upgrade to that. Run to the other side, do the same. These sides need to be entirely autonomous, is what I intend to do here. Uh, which may have screwed me out of the goal because I didn't focus on the center for the big willies. But what else is new? And we got more smoke. 
or gas, I should say. Blitzer's charging, don't really care. Also, the fact that I have an engineering chassis is lowering my output a little bit. We may still be in gold range if I do this carefully here. Very, very close to not being in gold range, but... You know, most of this mission will be primarily mine layers. Mine layers everywhere. Eventually there's going to be a second set of mine layers in the center. Really wish Tommy's didn't spawn. I should have. I meant. I should really have this mine layer a little bit more forward because I think they're actually going to stand over here on this side. Be irritating. Yeah, they are. That it should. I may have to redo this mission now. Curses. I guess I'll keep the, the failed ones in. Assuming we do. Or maybe I just won't get gold on everything. I don't know. I can tell you how to get gold. Don't do what I'm doing. I wonder if these things feel I'm sure they do. So I think this one's already been upgraded once. So I want to ignore that. I hadn't actually shown off sprinting. Here's sprinting. You can't turn when you're sprinting, and it takes a little while to slow down, so keep that in mind. Upgrade you. First transmitters. Is that the best you got, tubes? Go ahead and upgrade that. Then I'll upgrade the other side next. That should kill the burst transmitters on this side. This side I'm not sure about, but it might. Because we don't have the mines quite laid out yet. No, it won't. Other side's fine, though. So that's all good. Uh, we got resistors up there. Resistors will just run through the mines and kill themselves, so they're not a problem. It's Tommy's at the top that I have to worry about. Bite me! Oh yeah, you were trying, weren't you? He was, yes. Uh, that one's been upgraded. I don't think this one's been upgraded, so we'll do that. And then we just need to lay more mine layers. A whole lot of waiting for no reasons. We would be running around collecting stuff, but we had these ionized collection prongs everywhere. Huzzah! So we don't need to worry about that. May need to upgrade that one again, but I think it's... I think it's got enough radius. So here's why I like mine layers, especially in survival. And we're just gonna sit here and watch. Mine layers. Yum! The second wave might get through? Yeah. Only just barely, though. And that was because the first wave actually removed most of those mines, which is why I want this one here, and I don't have... Qu oh, I do now. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. So now I can add that second one here, and then eventually, obviously, these will be upgraded as well. Um, turrets, I don't believe, will shoot these. I could be mistaken, but I don't believe these will be shot by turrets. Sadly. Oh well. Uh, we just got burst transmitters in the middle, for now, which is fine, because they're stupid. Oop, there's a crate. Ionized collection prongs, as far as I'm aware, will not collect crates. Sadly. So you do have to manually pick those up, but, you know. Can't always be lazy. So I'm pretty sure, other than bosses, that central area should be nearly impenetrable for this level. Hello, Which we're almost what done anyway. A That's a Tommy, guy? though. It's a Tommy gun. Huzzah! These dudes are irritating because they shoot at range. The ones in the center aren't going to be a problem because they don't have this wall to sit on like a douche. I think they're going to spawn central and then left side. Central's fine, we don't need to worry about that. We could add an additional shotgun up here. Any regrets, tube? Just for safety purposes, because this side's a little irritating with the way they spawn and move. I think that's enough range. If it's not, that was a waste, but it will. Because of the way they stand in the back. I don't think I had enough range. The other side actually walks up here. 
where the mines are before it starts shooting. I'm not sure why this side doesn't, and I completely forgot it does that. But this is the final wave anyway, and we did well enough, so deal with it. So both central ones are spawning. I think both the side ones are spawning as well. Yep, you can tell if they're spawning if they fold out like that. So you can tell that something will be spawning from it shortly. No more bursting for you. Yeah, and those guys are just gonna be mauled. Double Big Willy. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a shotgun over here. We got double Tommies on the side. Let's try a shotgun then. That should stir things up. We're gonna upgrade that one. I really these things feel pain. need to deal with the Tommies on this side. Because that's Fire on him, he'll go down, fire on him. I believe all crates at the end of the level are picked up, I could be mistaken. But that's the end, so we'll run over here, pick up this crate just in case. And see if we can get over here. I'm pretty sure all the crates at the end are picked up automatically for you. Because there's no way you could sprint around and pick them up, yeah. Okay. I win! Victory! Hopefully I got a gold. I don't think I did. I think I yeah, just barely missed it, but it's those big willies at the start that I completely forgot about that ruined it, so to handle those a little bit better, you could probably uh, put shotgun turrets next to the base to deal with that, and we got some quick load tripods, which I probably won't be using. I don't use tripod legs in single player very much, I use sprinting legs. Either way, uh, double shotguns at the bases will probably help you deal with that without losing the gold. We also have a repair crane. And we got a fatty machine gun and a hack. Yay, this is your uh, sniper with pierce, which is the best ability you can possibly have in survival. Especially, there's a sniper turret which also has pierce, which makes it amazing. We got a better mine layer, a bunch of stuff. Explosive machine gun is what that looked like. Tons of stuff gotten from that mission, which will help us with the next one, which uh, actually I will be using the quick load legs in the next mission. So, apologies for that, but, oh well. Got some extra cash, and nothing else. Huzzah! So that's that mission done. I missed it slightly. Apologies for that. Get our little cutscene here. Repairing your trench in the field can be time-consuming. We've remedied this problem with the new repair crane. Deploy one to fix up your trench before you go down. Remember, losing your trench in single player fails the mission. In multiplayer, if someone else is alive, they can obviously get you back up on your feet. However, they do have to stand next to you for a while, so it's a bit cumbersome to do that. So don't die! It's the general consensus here. But, it's the end of that mission. Slightly worse than I anticipated it going. Uh, we're not going to get a gold on the boss mission, I'm pretty sure. But either way, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.